Gasparilla Island, Florida. According to Florida folklore, the island is named after the legendary pirate captain Jose Gaspar, Gasparilla, 1756 to 1821. According to legend, he hid his fabulous treasure on the island. This legend developed mainly due to the promotion of a local hotel and railroad line. Folklore accounts did not appear in writing until about 1900, in Charlotte Harbor and Northern Railway advertisements. Hotel guests received this brochure. According to the text, Gaspar's hidden treasure, buried somewhere on the island, has never been discovered. Gasparilla's story in the pamphlet influenced all subsequent accounts, but it is likely apocryphal. According to anthropologist André Marcel D.A.N.S., the name Gasparilla appears on maps dating back well before the time of the Buccaneers. Therefore, it might have been named after a Spanish missionary, Gaspar or Gasparillo. The area was sparsely populated until the late 19th century, with the only permanent residents being local fishing families. A United States military outpost was established at Boca Grande in 1848, however. Then, in 1897, future Florida Governor Albert W. Gilchrist purchased land at Boca Grande for development as a town. In 1905, harbor dredging began, and the Charlotte Harbor and Northern Railroad were built to connect Boca Grande to the outside world. Up until the dredging of the Port of Tampa in the 1970s, Gasparilla remained an important phosphate shipping port. Since the Gasparilla and opened in 1911, the island has been a significant vacation destination for the elite from Tampa and Fort Myers. Tourism remains an integral part of the island's economy, despite a considerable decline in shipping since the last quarter of the 20th century. Gasparilla Island was named one of the 10 best places for second homes by the Wall Street Journal.